Every two seconds, someone needs blood, and there's no substitute for it. This month is National Blood Donor Month, a time when more blood is needed. The Blood Connection says those 35 and under aren't donating like their parents and grandparents. That, that's concerning when considering the need remains unchanged. All right, Miss Opening Bones, you're doing great. You never know when you'll need it. Pedestrian traffic is steady at the Prisma Health Family Y, but on this day, people also changed up their normal workout routine. I think it's important to start giving in any way that you can when you're young um, and just kind of finding ways to reach out. 17 year old Natalie Finch donated blood Monday afternoon inside this blood connection mobile unit along with a line of other people. Even if I never need it, I know that somebody else does. It saves a life. It's not just the responsibility of our parents, of our grandparents to hold up this blood supply. It's all of our responsibility to make sure that our hospitals and our local hospital patients have the blood products they need. The Blood Connections Katie Smithson says it takes more than 50 mobile units on the streets each day and 13 physical centers to ensure 800 to 1000 units of blood are collected to keep all upstate hospitals Ready. But in any moment, that that inventory can be depleted. Numbers of the blood connection monitors, just like the number of those under 35, whose numbers have also dropped. As the majority of blood donors age, if we don't see that younger group start to donate at the same frequency, we're seeing less people turn out overall. Which is why the blood connection urges the public to add blood donation to their 2023 goals list. You're making your list of what you want to do in 2023, and there's no reason why you can't add on to that list, save a life. A lot of times we talk about making a list of goals and your New Year's resolutions and people always tell you make sure they're attainable and they're achievable and things like that so that you can measure them. Well, you can put saving a life on your New Year's resolutions and you can check that off when you donate blood. Natalie's one pint means three lives are saved. A win for her, the blood connection, strangers and the younger generation of donors. You're first eligible when you're 16 if you have a parent's consent and so I did it when I was 16 a couple times. And whenever I see an opportunity to do it. Donate a little bit more this year. I'm impressed with Natalie. Now, you can donate blood every 56 days. Also, if you aren't eligible to donate right now for medical reasons, the Blood Connection encourages you to stay up to date on any changes. You can find more about that information right on our website.